Welcome back to the Functional Medicine video blog. I'm Dr. Brady and today I want to talk about the birth control pill and weight gain. What happens is that in the birth control pill there's a synthetic hormone uh, called estrogen and sometimes progesterone which are two female dominant hormones. The estrogens in the pill will create what's called a functional hypothyroidism and what that means is that the estrogens in the pill can actually create a in, uh, can actually increase the level of what's called thyroid binding globulin and thyroid binding globulin is somewhat like this is that any hormone in the body when it travels through the body it needs to be in a taxi for example if we wanted to go to the airport we would have to get in a taxi go to the ta go to the airport and then get out of the taxi well thyroid binding globulin is that taxi and we would be the the thyroid hormones. So when the estrogen, when uh, over a period of time, the estrogen in the birth control pill will create more of those taxis, if you will, that will actually grab on to more of those uh, thyroid hormones that is needed for your body to um, to work properly. So over a period of time, that's exactly what happens. Now, if you run blood test, and typically a, a blood test uh, ran by uh, an MD who is focused on disease and disease only, he'll run very basic tests and the that functional uh, hypothyroidism will be overlooked. In order to visualize this functional hy hypothyroidism, those taxis or those thyroid binding globulins can be tested for. Also, it's typically, uh, it's normally tested um, the T4 and T3, which are inactive and active thyroid hormones. You can test them in the, what's called the free form, or the form that it has already left the taxi, or those binding globulins. But those are rarely tested for because of their, um, because of their expense. So a lot of times, um, a woman can be taking birth control pill and, and gain some significant weight, but uh, and that's not just fluid retention. They can actually shut down their thyroid gland. And that has its consequences too because every single cell in the body needs proper thyroid hormone to function properly. You'll see a lot of infertility come out of this. Uh, you'll see a lot of depression come out of this. Uh, it's just not a good deal. And, uh, and a lot of times that birth control is, uh, is given to a woman just because uh, uh, you know, a pimple shown up on their face or they're having irregular periods. So th there's, a much, there's a much more in-depth way of looking at these things. And once that's identified, we can develop plans to help actually correct the problem. Right? Given the birth control pill is, uh, is not a correction, um, is not a proactive correction type method, it is, in fact, a Band-Aid. So that's, uh, that's a tip for today. And uh, my name is Dr. Grady Hurst. And the reason why we do these blogs is to encourage uh, viewers to take action um, with their health, either through visiting us at our Atlanta, Georgia office or through our telehealth service uh, in which we are able to um, to take care of folks via the phone or video conferencing. Uh, we see patients in Canada, uh, the U.S., Europe, uh, Australia, and, uh, and New Zealand, and more countries to come. So um, please leave comments. Uh, uh, write me comments, send me questions. If you want to see another topic, another uh, blog topic, uh, shoot me a question. I'll be happy to answer it. Thank you for viewing, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.